Hi guys, back again with another late spring video on the Paxton Prolific Atemoya, which has uh, dropped the fruit. Been waiting and waiting and waiting. Yep, it's this guy over here, right here, one of the big ones, actually. The second biggest one, the biggest one is the one over there. That's still rock hard. But this one fell from the stem today. And uh, ooh, you can't see, but it's really soft. Now, so we don't go through this again and again <laughs> of um, um, picking and eating and cutting at the wrong time. We're gonna wait I'd love to be able to slice this up right now because it's super soft guys I mean just a slight touch and it's bruising to me that's ready but but so we don't have another disappointment I'm gonna wait a couple of days two or three days look at all these little gnats trying to get in I can smell it the gnats the, fr <laughs> the, the fruit fly or gnats uh, can smell the sugar and um, so can I so let's pull it out of there okay you can still see the, the stem there it is where it broke see that it's all dried up oh no it's a little no it's wet actually yeah it's wet so that happened today okay <clears throat> Let's pull this baby out of here. Okay. There you go. Nice. Wow. Wow. How nice is that, guys? Let me smell it. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, because the stem's gone. The core. That guy in there. Smell that? <laughs> It smells like cussed apple heaven. It's a whopper. Wish I could wait for you. So, in comparison to the cherry moya, this ate moya is uh, approximately there you go slightly bigger right and you can see the shape see the shape of cherry moya and ate moya there's another big one over there none of these have dropped yet I'm waiting for the cherry moya to drop there's our sugar cane right that we've been juicing hang on mm, that one's getting soft but I don't have it bagged. There's one up there. There's a lot of them. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get a sweet one. I had one recently for you guys. That was a five out of 10. So they're getting a little sweeter. But I'm so, wow, this is heavy. It's almost a kilo. I'm so looking forward to tasting this um, Atemoya or cussed apple. So I'm gonna do a follow-up follow up video once this is soft enough. Not so, well, it's soft enough now, but softer. Yeah. Okay, guys check back in a few seconds that is three days later for me thanks hi guys I'm back again the following day after I picked this um, custard apple the Paxton prolific it's so so soft and it smells absolutely amazing so 24 hours have passed 
and today we're gonna cut it up you have to be really careful because it's so soft it's easy to to rip it as I handle it it's very 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 tender but I'm also gonna bring in a, a white sapoti that's ready add on the um, tree the um, the Vista I believe let's go and grab it by the way it's uh, official that November was the coldest month the coldest November in uh, 48 years here in uh, Melbourne so it's official that uh, we had a dud for uh, spring oh well right so dud or not we can still enjoy these fruits guys here you go this one here is pretty soft this is the uh, like I said the the Vista right so let's pick it <coughs> mid-size so even though we've had the the worst spring in half a century we still have um, all this tropical goodness guys tropical fruit paradise here in uh, Melbourne all because of what I started 20 years ago so don't be deterred by awful weather and awful this and awful that because in time the plants will acclimate and uh, adjust to our local conditions we also have the the avocados here that are going off all right so let's get back to the to the fruit and we also have sugarcane i've been juicing all week during the crappy weather we've had right so we're going to do some of that as well later after we're done with uh, the video tropical sugarcane and it's really sweet as sweet as it is in the tropics because i've tasted it up there there's no difference at all in the taste trust me and now that the uh, um, custard apple, atemoya, as it's known in uh, other parts of the world, is starting to sweeten up, we can enjoy those as well. There's uh, three more of these to come, and countless um, white sapotis. They're like, there's hundreds of these. So much easier to grow this one than this one, unless you have multiple trees. Alisa did something really smart. She planted three, I believe, three Paxton prolific custard apples. That's something I should have done too. That's a great idea. So instead of getting five or six of these a year, or 10 of these a year, she'll be getting 30 to 50 a year once her Paxton prolific trees are established in five, six years, right? All right, let's get um, cutting. Mm, I'm looking forward to this to this um, custard apple okay I cut the um, the fruit now and as you can see within seconds the custard apple begins begins to oxidize look at that in under a minute these brown um, um, the flesh turned brown around the edge that was white when I sliced it <laughs> that happened so quick and here is the the Vista white sapoti, which is a mid-size, unlike the lemon gold, which is as big as um, the custard apple, much bigger. All right, I'm looking forward to the custard apple because I just um, like touched it and put it to my to my lip uh, to my tongue. It's really sweet, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's start with the. Um, piece here it's a big piece isn't it so good wow hi guys yep I'm back in my um, um, uniform I'm always wearing the same shirt aren't I but it's comfortable guys comfortable and uh, I like it look how white that is 
finally we're getting some decent fruit from the Atemoya. Oh, we have a. Let's have another bite. Mm. I'm happy to say the custard apple is finally at a 8 out of 10 as far as sweetness. We went up from. We started off at 1 <laughs> last year or the year before. And then it was a four or five, then a six and a seven. And this year we're at an eight. So they've improved. I don't know why it's taken so long for them to go from zero to eight in five years. It was five years or six years, actually. Six years ago that I got the first fruit. Mmm. It's so good, so sweet. Kim's gonna be so happy to try it. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's not a 10 out of 10 because it doesn't have that um, extra sweet high level sugar that the ones in cans do. They're like a 10 up there. But we're almost there, guys. Mm. Definitely good enough to be proud of down here in um, Victoria. Wow, that was so good. Now I'm going to try the, the white sapote, which, believe it or not, is sweeter than custard apple. <laughs> Just when you thought you can't get any better, this is better this here is better so highly recommend to plant white sapote guys let's go all right it's not my favorite variety my favorite is hawaiian supreme the one that's caused me all these problems with um um sooty mold oh if the custard apple was an 8 out of 10, this is 11 out of 10. <laughs> mm. It's actually too sweet. Too sweet. A fruit that's too sweet. Mm. Just eat all of it. Except for the seed. Be careful of the seed, they're slithery. Mm. Wow. Let's have some more of this custard apple. So, the temperature here in Melbourne today is um, 28 Celsius. We went from 18 all week to 28 all of a sudden. Yeah. And um, then we're going to go back to 18 again for another five days. And the following week, it's going to be 30, back to back. Our first 30 degree temperatures at the beginning of summer. The first few days of December will be 30, finally. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that look awesome? Huh? You just want to smash it in your mouth. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> After having the white sapote, this tastes like a six. <laughs> it's still an eight. But wow, the sugar content went from up there at the very top to halfway down. We're halfway down. Someone took half the sugar away. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut the video short here because I know that Kim will want to also enjoy having the um, the goodie, the goodies. So 
that was the comparison between white sapoti and custard apple slash atemoya here in melbourne australia wow that was ecstasy love it yummy finally we got the um the custard apples to work here it took eight years wow what a, that's a common um figure eight years for the um custard apple eight years for the mango eight years for the ice cream bean eight years for the first longans which seem to be coming this year uh eight years for the oh what else is eight years uh the black sapoti in size right the flavor is the same but black sapoti started this small and now it's this big it's probably going to be another eight years before it's this big so guys the take-home message for anyone in victoria is you gotta wait at least eight years before you get decent taste right we're talking taste now we're not talking size decent taste from your tropical fruits okay that's the um the whole point of this video yeah in the the true tropics there's no such thing it's like two to three years before you get what i got two to three years before you get your um delicious sour sop delicious jackfruit etc right here it's eight years here the citrus takes two to three years in two to three years you get the citrus here tasting like honey honey sweet right but these aren't tropical these are temperate climate fruits so these don't need eight years these need only um two or three years so and there's the long one i was talking about it's actually six years i think we're going to get fruit on these um this year this summer all right guys hope you enjoyed the video well i can still taste all the sugar in my mouth we're getting some new bananas coming here right the final few days of spring in victoria bye bye guys see you from the next video don't forget to share this is very important that you share these videos with others in melbourne or sydney or um adelaide <clears throat> you don't have to share this with anyone in queensland they have a completely different climate to us unless they're in toowoomba or um the cooler parts of queensland yes but most areas in queensland uh, will not benefit much from this information all right guys catch us all thanks